Hey guys, it's Paul Jang. I'm um, going to be talking about note investing and specifically why you should do it with land. So um, there's different videos out there. Uh, I looked at Desir Nas uh, specifically, but uh, looked at other stuff in the past. I, I'm familiar with Paperstack. Um, so, well, let, let me tell you about Paperstack. So basically what, they, what they've done is they have a website where you could p- pick up, you know, notes, uh, basically invest in them with like a percentage, um, you know, rate of return and uh, they'll list it up for you. I think it's decent. Uh, some questions I had is is about like getting it back. But uh, the way I see it, I think land is just much more uh, robust. Land, you get a hard asset. So, um, you know, if, if they don't pay you back, you take back the property pretty quickly. I don't know what that process is for note investing, if you're gonna have to basically uh, get foreclosure or something like that. But uh, with note investing, it's a pretty fixed cost. So let me show you a paper stack real quick. So here's paper stack. They have nor- uh, mortgage notes for sale. And um, uh, they have like an inventory of different notes. So you can hold that, hold these positions. So like, if you look, they have like a 3,600 at like, you know, non 9%, this is non-performing. They have a 2.1 that is performing. Your goal is basically to get them to become performing or basically if it's not performing for close on it and then rehab it of some sort and resell it for a higher amount. Um, so let me just show you th- these performing notes. So the way this works is they get an interest rate of 9%. The unpaid balance is 2000, you know, 100, um, 2117. And um, basically the list price is that amount. So they want the full amount for what they still owe. You're probably going to negotiate this. So even if you got like half of it, you know, you'd pay, you know, 1050 bucks and you get a thousand fifty over whatever amount of period um, over the year, right? So um, that's okay, but I just kind of think there's deals in uh, land investing with owner financing specifically, where if I'm, you know, this is the list. So he wants the full price. If if I pick up something for a thousand dollars, I could sell it for three four thousand dollars with owner financing. That means I got three, four thousand of potential profit, plus get an interest rate comparable to nine percent. But it's not nine percent of my thousand dollar investment. It's it's um, uh, you know nine percent out of the three thousand, well four thousand dollars. You know if you get a zero down payment of that amount. So like, let me show you loan calc calculator so like for example if you pick up something for a thousand and you sell it for four thousand let's say over five years at nine percent well that quickly becomes four thousand nine hundred eighty two right so basically over a five-year period you'll get eighty three dollar per month payments and um um, you, you know, you got 9% off of that full amount instead of your smaller amount. So, um, I, I just think that the note investing world, like, you know, it's obviously this percentage would increase depending, uh, depending on if you got a lower amount, but from what I see, it's just, it makes sense instead of negotiating this down, it makes sense to just pick up, um, um, pick up property for, even a couple hundred dollars and then reselling it for a couple thousand dollars. Like, like I'm looking over here, this is popularity to rank. Let's go from uh, cheapest. So yeah, 24,000, 22,000. That's, that's a chunk of, that's a chunk of money, right? Like, if, if I picked up, you know, property for, you know, $20,000, I'm looking to sell it, you know, somewhere between forty to $80,000. And that's a significant more profit um, than getting like a note deal. So, so that's just kind of 
how I see this. It's like uh, land investing and creating notes from it. I think it's just a lot more solid. Let, let's look at some some deals with um, land. Let's go to land watch. Usually they'll have some owner financing deals. Uh, let, let's just choose. Uh, let's just choose uh, Valencia County, New Mexico. Uh, and let's put here owner financing. Okay, so here's Eric Chang, one acre, five thousand. He picked it up for you know a thousand, two thousand dollars. So he's selling it five thousand for cash. He's not listing the terms for it over here. Let's see here. So his discount price is eight thousand nine hundred ninety-seven. His down is 500 down, and he's collecting um, 190 per month for 60 months. So it comes out to 11,900. I don't know the exact percentage of it, but you know, if if he spent 2,000 to 2,500, I've invested here before, so I'm pretty familiar with the prices. You could pick up six acres for two, three thousand dollars. So he's getting his money, you know, 500, and then um, doing 190 dollar payments. That's going to be about 2400 so 2005 He's going to get most of his money back, if not all of it, within a year. In the next uh, four years, um, you know, he's going to get $190 per month. I think that's a significant return, you know, than these note deals where you just get the 9%. You, you, your, your money is really that percentage. But with land investing, it's the equity – that you get from buying it so cheaply plus the interest rate um, uh, in these land deals. So that's how I think about like land investing. Instead of doing these note deals, just go for uh, land investing and specifically focus on owner financing deals. And yeah, just the price point, I think it, it really doesn't make sense to uh, pick up these lots. Look, here's a performing note. So, so the unpaid balance is thirty eight thousand eight hundred two. He's saying make an offer, right? Uh, yeah, I just think it's just gonna be um, um, much better just to do land investing. But that's my personal opinion on this. Uh, feel free to get into um, you know notes with pa paper stack or some of these other listings. But uh, yeah, land investing, I think there's just a lot more profit in it. So that's my personal opinion. If you're interested in a course, it is in the description below. Obviously, I'm biased. I'm doing land investing. But um, uh, that's that. Have a good one.